Now to the story of a dad who's the personification of the word hero. For the past decade, he's worked tirelessly to help families with seriously ill children. And since this dad is always doing the giving, we wanted to turn the tables and treat him to a special surprise. For Joe McDonough, there was only one thing he ever wanted to be, a father. My goal in life was to be a dad. It didn't matter to me what job I had, how much money I made. I couldn't wait to be a dad. And so when his wife, Chris, gave birth first to their daughter, Allie, and later to their son, Andrew, Joe felt as if his mission in life had been fulfilled. My dad was always the one standing right on the sidelines at soccer games. Always, win or lose, he was there with a hug. But in 2007, when Andrew was just 14 years old, the unthinkable happened. It was a pretty typical week in our house. He had his high school dance on Friday, and on Saturday, he helped his travel soccer team win a Pennsylvania State Championship. And two days later, we thought Andrew had either the flu or appendicitis. As that day unfolded, we found out that Andrew was diagnosed with leukemia. Less than six months after his diagnosis, Andrew was gone. It's tough coming in here. That's when Joe took up his next mission in life. With the help of wife, Chris, he founded the Be Positive Foundation, a nonprofit aimed at helping families whose children have cancer. Named for Andrew's blood type, the foundation is all about making the best of the worst situations. It was really important to us to support both ends, the treatment of childhood cancer, as well as the more immediate short-term financial assistance to families who are going through it. Joe left his job to run the foundation full time. Today, Be Positive helps young cancer patients and their families in more than 200 hospitals throughout the nation, offering financial assistance and connecting patients with clinical trials. Among those Joe has helped, Andrew and Helen Weiss. Their daughter, Hayden, was diagnosed with cancer at age three. I think that what you get with the Be Positive Foundation is you get a personalized experience. Joe was the advocate. Any family that receives the news that their child has cancer, it's a very lonely feeling. Joe has made it less lonely for us. He's almost like an extended family. Today, Hayden's prognosis is good. She calls Joe her Uncle Joe, and Joe considers her among his hundreds of surrogate kids. I really do feel like they're my kids. I, I laugh with them and I cry with the family. We thought who better than little Hayden to help us give a little surprise to the man who never takes time for himself. Uncle Joe. So Joe, it gives us um, great pleasure to be able to give you this letter. Dear Joe, for years you've been the one to do the giving, especially when it comes to the Be Positive Foundation. We thought it was time to, for the tables to turn and for someone to give something to you. A once in a lifetime trip to Alaska. What? Oh. Can I put you in my suitcase and bring you with me? Joe told us he never takes a day off because cancer doesn't. But we're hoping, thanks to the travel donation furnished by cruisingstore.com and Celebrity Cruises, he'll find the time to unwind when he sets sail on a week-long cruise to Alaska, a state he's always dreamed of visiting. Joe says there's not a minute of the day he doesn't think about the son he lost. He says paying it forward to other kids, that is what being Andrew's dad is all about. We're gonna to try to help these families, we're gonna to try to fund research, and uh, I'm, I'm confident Andrew's smiling down proudly. I'm blessed. Mm. This year, the work. Be Positive Foundation is expected to raise four and a half million dollars and help 2,500 families. By the way, Joe, his wife Chris, and daughter Allie, they're all going on a cruise oh, to excellent. Alaska thanks excellent to cruisingstore.com and Celebrity Cruises. So definitely well worth it. For what a great family. story. Oh.